good day everyone so another day another um discussion uh last time we have discussed about summative assessment and performance assessment so today i am going to discuss to you about portfolio so the question now is what is portfolio or what are portfolios so according to the powerpoint presentation that was given by dr craig um, portfolios are prominently used in art, architecture, modeling, photography, and journalism. They document proficiency, skill, style, and talent with examples of actual work. So that is the general um, definition of um, portfolio. Um, it is a compilation of materials that um, exemplifies your beliefs, skills, um, qualifications, um, education, training, and experiences. Um, it provides insight into your personality and work ethic. But in education, um, a portfolio is a purposeful systematic process of collecting and evaluating students' formative and or summative assessments to do document progress toward the attainment of learning targets. So they are limited, meaningful collections of work include guidelines for the selection of contents, criteria for scoring, and student self-reflection. So a portfolio is a living and changing collection of records that reflects your um, accomplishments, skills, experiences, and attributes. So it highlights and showcases samples of um, some of your best work along with the life experiences, um, values and the achievements so next slide so an effective portfolio is purposeful so there's um, of course if you will create a portfolio of course it must be um, with a purpose so there's a reason why you made that portfolio and it should be very useful to you and the people who are going to um, read your portfolio so an effective portfolio is systematic and well organized so well organized you should make sure that your portfolio is well organized so the people who is going to or the people who are going to read that will get confused and that would help them read your portfolio efficiently and comprehensively next it contains meaningful work so um, meaningful work. So your portfolio must impress those who are going to read it. So you must um, put um, your meaningful works there, your achievements and such. Next is has pre-established guidelines. So pre-established guidelines. So it is because um, who will read your portfolio so that those people who are going to read your portfolio will know the specific guidelines and standards upon reading your work next is engages students in selection evaluation and reflection so since you want your portfolio to have your meaningful work you should make your um you should make sure that they can learn from it so make sure that they can engage to it next is it motivates students so for them, um, I mean, it, you should motivate students for them to do better, of course, in terms of their education. Next is document progress based on tier, well-specified scoring criteria. So, um, the progress, the moni monitoring your progress is very important so that um, you will know what to improve and how to improve on the next task. So, next slide. Characteristics of effect effective portfolio. So here, clearly defined purpose aligned with um, learning targets, standards, and 21st century skills. So again, it must be purposeful. Um, it, it, it must have a reason why you made that, and it should be very useful to you and to the people who are going to read your portfolio so systematically organized collection of 
students work pro work product so why does it need to be um well organized again so the people who is going to read that um won't get confused and that would help them read your um portfolio efficiently and comprehensively next is um high students engagement and motivation so you must have uh, you must make the um students engage on the works you have um put to that portfolio next is individualized student artifacts pre-established guidelines used to establish contents um some students selection of content student self-reflection fear and appropriate criteria um for evaluating students products conferences held between students and teachers to review and evaluate so also um and if the portfolio must be ongoing so that um they will sh that will show the students efforts the progress and the achievements over a period of time so items in portfolio should be collected as a systematic uh, purposeful and meaningful